this is part two of my Valentine's Day series and this time I'm going to be showing you some outfit ideas for Valentine's Day and I tried to kind of diversify my style as much as I could. Of course I know that's kind of impossible because um, my style is my style and the clothes in my closet are what they are and I can't really change that but I just tried to kind of make it a little bit different in each outfit so you'll see what I mean obviously it's impossible for me to cater to everybody's style but hopefully these will give you some ideas of what to wear for Valentine's Day this is definitely the dressiest of literally of all of these outfits because it features a dress and this is like the cutest little 50s style dress it's got an a-line skirt a cinched in waist and a v-neck which is kind of low cut but then the skirt comes to below the knee so I think that keeps it really um, classic and kind of chic. This dress would be perfect if you were going out for a dinner date or something kind of more formal than that. I got it about three years ago at a local boutique and I usually wear this in the summertime but what I do is I basically switch up the colors from light to dark depending on the season. So in February in Ireland it's really cold and it's still winter time so I can't really wear this dress because it's sleeveless and just the style of it, it's a light cotton, I can't really wear it on its own. So what I do is I pair it up with black tights, black opaque tights, and then I have on these black pumps from ASOS. And in the summertime, I obviously wear it with bare legs and with white pumps or like kind of cream off-white. And then I have it paired up with a off-white blazer. Now because it's winter time, I'm pairing it up with a black blazer. This is the black blazer, it's from ASOS and I think it fits really well with the dress just because it's structured and it kind of fits in with the structured 50s theme. Outfit number two is definitely more casual, it's kind of more of a daytime look whereas the dress was more for like an evening dinner date with your boyfriend or husband or fiance. So this is definitely more for the daytime but it's still Valentine's -y, you know, it's still like trying to be in the holiday spirit because I have on this cute little heart necklace with a black bow and like little fake pearls and this is from Tallulah 2 which is an amazing costume jewelry brand that's based in the UK and then I have this pop of color with the red like festive cardigan this is from Oasis and then I have on one of my favorite black tank tops. It's kind of see-through, as you can probably tell in this HD video. But I can't remember where this is from. Oh, part part two, I think. Um, these are my favorites because they are kind of like loose fitting, but then they have this um, elasticated part here in the middle, so it just like I don't know, it just looks better with my body shape. Um, and it comes down pretty long and then just not to kind of be boring and have it all with black so like black and red and black and red I have on grey jeans from skinny jeans from Zara and then I have boots little kitten heel booties because it is cold like I said these are from ASOS this is another favorite of mine and it features the skirt from ASOS that I got like two years ago when I first started making videos on YouTube and you guys have seen this skirt before, I love it to death, like I could just, I, wear, I feel like wearing this skirt every holiday, like whether it's Valentine's Day, Christmas, it doesn't matter, I just feel like wearing it, it just makes me feel festive, and I just love it. I think they had it in blue as well, I'm sure it's long gone from the website now, but it's just such a cute skirt, it's got the little black bows on the pockets, which are actually fake pockets, they're not real, um, and then I just have it paired up, kind of like a ballerina look, because it's almost like a tutu, you know, it's A-line. And then I have it with this basic black round neck long sleeve top from Vila, which is kind of like a leotard because of just the, the shape and everything. And then just for the Valentine's Day vibe, um, I paired it up with a heart necklace. This is different than the last one that I showed. This is from La Moxie, which is a fashion brand based out of Singapore and I did a video on them like a few months ago and then I have again black tights and the same black pumps from the first um, outfit and that's pretty much it this is just a black leather clutch and I stole it from my mom and it's such a classic like simple kind of chic accessory this would go with any of the three outfits that I mentioned because it's black and it's neutral and it's simple 
So those were my three Valentine's Day looks. I hope you liked them. Let me know what your favorite was and don't forget to check out my makeup tutorial video which I uploaded two days ago. So um, that's kind of like my makeup look for Valentine's Day. I realized that I'm not actually wearing that makeup and some of you are probably like, why aren't you wearing the Valentine's Day makeup that you did? The reason for that is because I used a lot of pinks and in this video obviously I wore a lot of red and it just kind of clashed. I tried filming it yesterday when I filmed the other one and it, it just didn't look right. So um, I hope you guys don't mind but I did a very neutral face today just so that I could make the clothes kind of stand out more. So don't forget to check out that makeup look and also my blog anasaconi.com for pictures of all the outfits and the makeup and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you all again in my next video. Bye.